Back again with another Big Brother Canada 4 interview. I am here with Christine. Christine, how are you feeling? I'm feeling wonderful. Besides being out of the house, it's not good. <laughs> really? Are you feeling wonderful? Yeah, I'm okay. With, you know, I don't ever cry over spilt milk. I'm out now, so I'm not going to whine about it. I wish I was in the house, but I'm not. So what am I going to do? You know, I, I think that, like, you had a good strategy going into the house. You know, like, certainly I feel like you were playing under the radar. Mm -hmm. um, did it surprise you that playing that strategy you were nominated so early? Like, it didn't really make a lot of sense watching it. It really didn't make any sense. Um, it was kind of a bummer for sure. It was just bad luck on my, my side. Um, Levita didn't really have much choice now that I think about it. Um, well, she was playing safe. If she wanted to have not play safe, she would have had better choices, obviously. But I just got caught in the crossfire there. What do you think about that strategy, the strategy to sort of not target the bigger threats, mm -hmm. you know, for fear that, like, the reciprocation might be bad? That's exactly what it was. She was just afraid because she'd gotten so much flack earlier for making a big move. So this time she was trying the reverse, mm -hmm. and um, it got me in trouble. Do you think it had anything to do with the week prior to you leaving? Like, I felt like there might have been a little bit of tension with you and Levita. Was there any? There was definite tension between me and Levita. We didn't get along. Um, I didn't like her gameplay, and she kind of isolated herself for the first week or two. And so it was hard to get to know her. And so I was just left to assume she was annoying. And then <laughs> after a while, I did get to know her, and she was, you know, we started to get to be a little bit more friendly. Um, and things worked out. But then it was too late. I was nominated, and now I'm out. So that's the end of that. What was it like sort of being on the block beside Cassandra? I felt like you guys got along. Was it hard to campaign against her? Uh, what was that dynamic like? Yeah, actually me and Cassandra were best buddies in the house. Me and Maddie, and then it was me and Cassandra. Uh, we were the closest. And um, it was hard to be on the block with her because we both wanted to stay. Everybody in the house both wanted us to stay. So it was really hard for everybody, actually, and to campaign. But we made a pact at the beginning. We said, go ahead, campaign against me tell everybody you hate me, tell them lies, I'll forgive you. <laughs> and that's what we did. I, I know that you sort of were like the lone wolf, but did you have any alliances? And can you tell me sort of about like, were you in sort of a group alliance of any kind? I was a lone wolf most of that time at the beginning. And then just at the end, I started aligning with um, one side. And what side was that? That was the Dallas, Maddie, Ramsey, um, yeah, that was basically it. But I wasn't, we were aligned, but still playing individually. You know, watching the show, I loved seeing that close vote. Um, and when I saw Tim's vote to have you stay, I was just like, wait, he's so close to Cassandra. Um, did his vote surprise you? And do you feel like it was really a vote for you to stay? Or was it sort of like strategy to pin it on someone else? Well, actually, he liked me and Cassandra equally. He was torn between which one he should keep. Um, it really was 50-50 for him, but he decided to keep Cassandra, and I think he gave me my vote so it didn't look so bad. Mm -hmm. I think he was trying to be nice to me, because <laughs> he really did like me, and we got along really well in the game. You know, in my, in my first interview, um, you know, my first eviction interview this season, Paige was sitting here, yeah. and I said to her, you know, if I had a wild card in my pocket and I gave you that special power and you could evict anyone in the house with mm -hmm. this power, she said, Christine. Um, so, so I kind of want to give you that same opportunity. Like, wh I never saw a lot of tension between you and Paige, so her answer kind of surprised me. Can you elaborate? That actually surprised me, too, to hear that, because um, we didn't really interact mm -hmm. at all, and maybe that's the reasoning for that. I don't know. If I had a special power, it would probably be, hmm. I was just going to ask you that. So you're, you're right ahead of me. You, already, you can already see it. Yeah. I, I, I think I would take out, I would have last week taken out Levita because I thought she was more of a threat, but she's not so much of a threat now. Probably would take out Jared. Yeah. Or, no, that's a lie. I would take out the brothers. And why the brothers? Um, because they're a wild card. Nobody knows what they're doing. They're going to split at some point. Do they have some special power? Everybody in the house thinks that they have some special veto or power or something that may be kicking in at some point. So I think they would be a good target to get rid of. Then the other two can fight it out. <laughs> and finally, what's next for you? I don't know. I'm going to go home and um, get back to my life, see my kids and my friends, and sleep for two days straight. <laughs> Amazing. Christine, thank you so much. Okay, thank you.